hi friends uh, i have another great recipe for you and uh, in this recipe i'm using three oils and um, let's start it first we need to wear our gloves and uh, safety glasses and then we can um we can start to make and let me fix my camera a little bit okay so let's see today i'm making almond milk cacao butter olive oil and coconut oil salt the sodium hydroxide um, which is here and almond milk need to be measured separately so you measuring in a separate cups then we can add sodium hydroxide to almond milk okay let's see slowly but surely Mix sodium hydroxide and almond milk gently. until the sodium hydroxide dissolves completely let me add the remaining now um this is hot but we are using frozen almond milk cubes the temperature eventually will go down I'm trying to use all You see, all melted. Now we can put this on the side and we can work with our oils. Okay, next we need to measure our oils. You can do it separately or you can melt the solid oils first 
then add the liquid oils or just you can dump into one pot and heat everything up together so i already dump everything together and because i have three oils here coconut oil cacao oil and olive oil i'm just mixing more in this recipe uh, i have a new solid oil um it, which uh, also called as a butter cacao butter but uh, this is a solid oil cacao solid oil is a decent source of vitamin e which benefits our body in many ways and cacao solid oil contains a high amount of fatty acids which make it well suited as a primary ingredient in a skin creams and skincare lines. In cold process soap, cacao solid oil adds firmness to the bar. It also acts as a barrier to protect the skin from further irritation okay so now let me check the temperature again because I warmed uh, my my oils are warm I never boil my oils I'm just always keeping them warm temperature and um, my oils are 80, 80 Fahrenheit, which is really good. And let me check my lye solution. Just because we used almond milk cubes, now our liquid um, almond milk lye solution is um, almost 85 Fahrenheit. Um, I, I like working with uh, low temperature. And you see such a nice color our almond milk did not burn because of ice okay now i have to add the temperature is okay my oils is 80 84 and high and my light solution is higher. Usually the oil need to be 10 degree low from light solution. So I can wait a little bit mixing more. Um, and for today's colors, I'm using natural colors, turmeric and spirulina. let's let's mix more it is a beautiful color it looks not burned that's why i like to freeze my liquids before i will add the sodium hydroxide Okay, every time when you mix your uh, oil and light solution, 
for example now let me double check the before i will mix it let me double check the temperature again okay very nice this is now exactly 80 fahrenheit and let me double check my light solution let me see my light solution okay let's see light solution is oh good it's already 65 actually from 80 went down to 65 Fahrenheit which is really good um uh, I didn't expect it to go down that much okay little by little I'm adding light solution to oil okay and this process um uh, for example um when we mix oil and light solution they blend together and molecules starting to form something new like new product which we call salt So basically the chemical reaction between sodium hydroxide and oil ingredients is called saponification, which creates soap and leaves no lye in the finishing product.
Okay, I'm starting this part and I'm just pouring little by little, adding some colors. Okay. Okay, when you're pouring one point, it's keep moving. So your choice, whatever movement you like to do. This is just a simple design.
In the end, I will sprinkle a little bit with sea salt on the top, which I colored with mica, orange color. So. Hopefully looking nice. Just mixing colors, let's see. I'm doing this design first time like this, so let's see how this will work. Okay. This was a little bit messy, but looks not bad. I will change my gloves again because I don't like to work with dirty gloves. Let me sprinkle a little bit. Oh. Sea salt, which I colored orange with mica. Okay, now I have to clean. Always a good idea to keep white vinegar little bit of like vinegar and some cow for cleaning very useful okay i'm putting this one on side and i have to cut another so which i made yesterday this is really beautiful so beautiful so uh the exactly the same recipe which I made it today with three oils and the design is the same and I sprinkled a little bit of sea salt so hopefully let's see how it looks inside hopefully it looks nice okay I'm very excited to cut this soap looks beautiful I will use um, this cutter today. Let's see how that will be. Okay, I'm still using my simple cutter. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. 
How do you like guys? Let me know. Let me cut another piece. This is not turmeric, uh, not exactly turmeric soap because we just used it for coloring. Has a little bit of turmeric fish, turmeric spirulina, and I used it a little bit of this powder. Okay, subscribe to my channel. Please let me know how you like the design and how you like my recipes. Next video, I will give you four oils recipe. Leave me a comment if you're trying at home my recipes or how do you like them this is a little bit messy because uh, i colored the sea salt and every time i cut it's all over everywhere but it looks nice like this it looks a little bit halloweeny like for fall some type of way i don't know let me know guys what's your opinion what it looks like this is very simple design i didn't do anything difficult i was just showing by simply pouring together what colors we can use and how nice it can be and these soaps are very foamy because we have got coconut coconut oil and the coconut oil is very foamy and also we have coconut olive oil and cacao butter which is cacao or uh, solid oil because when you say cacao butter people get confused they think that that's real butter but that's uh, solid oil okay so we need more and this will be our finished product so let me know how you like it it looks like a bit Halloween-y, I believe, but leave me a comment, let me know. And the smell, it smells cacao butter, that's why I didn't use any fragrance. It smells really nice, because we used it cacao butter. It's it's dominating the smell cacao butter has a strong smell which is nice i like it really halloweeny i believe fall okay guys thank you so much and uh, be happy when you're shopping thank you have a good day